Did Hailey Bieber give birth yesterday? We gotta talk about this. Welcome, welcome back to my channel, best friend. I hope you guys are having a really, 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 really good day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you all with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me. Why don't you grab a snack and a drink, hit that subscribe button and let me spice up your life. Anyways, best friend, listen, have you ever gotten that little white thing on your tongue? you know what I'm talking about? That little like white thing. I don't know what it is, but it's even so difficult to talk. You know what I'm talking about? Like that little white, you just want to bite it off. I have that. I don't know how I got it. But anyways, girl, I'm putting salt on my tongue. It is a mess. So if you hear me lisping or something, girl, I'm going through it. But anyways, girl, welcome back to my channel. We got to talk about Hailey Bieber because fans believe that she already gave birth. Check this out. Ooh, good morning, best friend. Best friend, did Hailey Bieber give birth yesterday? <gasps> we got to talk about it. So some fans believe after one comment from Justin Bieber's mom that Hailey Bieber gave birth yesterday. So I'm replying to this comment saying, am I the only one thinking HB is delivering that baby today? Did no one else see Miss Patty's comments? Let's go look at Miss Patty's comments. Okay, best friend, so this is the comment that says, uh, let's go from Justin's mom on the picture. So a lot of people believe that this let's go is that Hailey Bieber push, girl. <laughs> okay, girl, we got to talk about this. First of all, I would be a nervous fucking wreck. Can you take Xanax when you're about to deliver a baby? That's a serious question, girl. I I always applaud my, my girls out here because, girl, I would be terrified, bitch. I mean, literally, if I eat ice cream without a lactate, I'm terrified. I can't imagine, like, delivering a damn human child. Uh, but listen, from these two words, girl, I don't think that means, like, let's go. I do think that she's, you know, close to delivering i just really admire and 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 actually have to give her a round of applause for not stating how far along she is because i just feel like that's giving people too much information and people already like don't like this situation so i'm sure she has a lot of evil eyes on her and stuff so the more secretive and more like you know protective she can be of her baby i think the best because there's a lot of weird people out here you know wishing ill will towards them and stuff but i just have to say one thing girl listen i applaud all my women out here who are delivering babies girl i don't know what in the <laughs> is going on but girl you guys deserve a round of applause bitch and my mom said i was a big ass baby too bitch girl listen you you deal with a lot of shit. Oh, let me ask you a question, bitch. I saw on Keeping Up with the Kardashians that you eat your own placenta. Kourtney Kardashian allegedly ate her own placenta. What the fuck does that taste like? And can you put hot sauce on it? Anyways, girl, listen. What do we think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that this was Justin's mom's way of saying like, you got this girl, you got this girl, or it's just like a let's go type thing? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that follow. And girl, what in the <laughs> is going on here? I don't want to bite my tongue off and just fucking chop it. Anyways, girl, listen. So, did Haley Bieber give birth? Did her mo did Haley's uh, mother in law, uh, you know, spill the beans? What is up with these parents? Oh, I just want to bite it off. What is up with these parents? That all they do is they they just kind of they her their parents should open up a TMZ. And just fucking spill the tea. Because one parent is asking for prayers. The other one is like exposing the birth. Let's talk about this. So fans really do believe that Hailey Bieber gave birth yesterday because of, you know, his mother's comment. I personally don't think that, you know, nowadays it's very popular to be like, let's go. You know, like when you win something or when you're doing something right or when you're on your way to getting something, you're like, let's go, dude. Yeah, serves up, bro. Hey, did you catch the latest waves? Yeah, let's spread a corn dog and let's just write in our manifesting journals. Like, you know what I mean? That he's giving that. Um, but anyways, girl, ooh, corn dogs. Oh god. The way I would deep throat a corn dog right now, bitch. Ooh. Ha! Anyways, girl, listen. Um this, let me just let me just tell you something, okay? The way I would be having 10,000 anxiety attacks right now if I was about to give birth, bitch, okay? Let me tell you something. 
If I go to a restaurant and I eat something with dairy and I don't have my lactate, I'm a nervous wreck. I can't imagine having to give birth to a child, okay? So my all the women out there got, you know, praise you seriously because the way you guys are freaking heroes, okay? Um listen, I think that with uh, <laughs> I think that with keep my seriously, I think that with Hailey Bieber I'm not sharing how far along she is. I actually think she did a really good thing, to be very honest with you. Because my dog is... A, a, can you get more? Like, you are... Come here. My dog is like... My dog is like kicking me. Okay. You want to... You want to... Here. Come sleep in my... Here we go. So listen, right? I feel like her not telling people how far along she is... I think she did a really good job. There are some really weird people out there. Some freaking creeps, okay? People who do not wish uh, Hailey Bieber or Justin Bieber well. Are you done? What do you want, baby? You want to sleep here? Okay. Um, they don't wish them well, right? So, you know, the evil eye is a, is a real thing. Why would you want to jeopardize anything? Or why would you want to give the creeps that kind of information? If I'm going to be very honest with you guys... If I were Hailey Bieber and Justin Bieber and I received so much hate every single day, you would know nothing about me. You wouldn't even find, you probably wouldn't even know I was pregnant. I swear. I swear. Now listen. Some people are talking about how Hailey Bieber is allegedly faking her pregnancy because she has not gained weight and that she she that she's wearing a fake belly and she has a, a surrogate this and that. I feel like people's bodies are very different. One of my really good friends, she's pregnant and you would never believe it. Like you would, she is like seven months pregnant and she, her, her body has not changed. I mean, I just feel like you can judge people's bodies because everyone is different. We are all built different. You know what I mean? Like we are all different. So, so saying like, oh, but she hasn't gained weight. So that's a clear, you know, a clear, um, a, what you call it, a clear indication that she's not pregnant. That's not that's not how the cookie crumbles. But oh, a cookie sounds so good too. Am I hungry, bitch? Damn! All I think about is food. Oh my god, this tongue thing. I just oh god, go. If you know any home remedies for this, please let a bitch know because I'm about to fucking just inject my tongue with Botox. Uh, anyways, girl, listen. Um, I I I just feel like Haley Bieber. You know. Um, when she gives birth, everything is going to change. I, I really do. Like now they go out and they're in the paparazzi and they're in the eye of the paparazzi and this and that. But I just feel like everything is going to change for them because the way Justin Bieber likes his privacy and the way that they are going to be hounded for those first pictures of the baby, I personally would be terrified. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even being dramatic. I would be terrified. Having... I've seen paparazzis in literally like high speed chases in Los Angeles, girl. Like, and imagine bringing a baby into that. Like, if I honest, if I were them, you know what I would do? I would buy land in this like private community in like freaking Canada or something, okay? Where there is no paparazzi and I would literally live there for the first year of my baby's life where I don't have to stress about about you know what what celebrities and and every woman out there stresses about ooh bounce back body you know f f fuck that stupid ass bullshit you know uh the first baby pictures and and the criticism online and all the oh girl listen i would avoid that listen when you have a baby it's like shit gets real right shit gets real you want to protect that baby and bitch let me tell i will be mama bear okay you don't want to fuck with me and my little nebula you know that's what me and my husband joke around um, our fake baby name is Nebula. Um, anyway, so I have Nebula Soto. I think that, um, I, I'm very curious to see how they're going to, uh, how they're going to manage, you know, when the baby is here. Like, are they going to be, uh, reclusives? Is that reclusives? Yeah, that's the word, right? Okay, uh, Webster. Recluse lives, or are they going to be out and public like the Kardashians? Like, what's gonna be? So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And do you think that Patty's message is an indication that she gave birth? Let a bitch know. Who is your favorite Spice Girl? Who is your favorite Spice Girl? Can you guys guess who my favorite Spice Girl is? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to guess. Okay, ready? So, we have Baby Spice, Sporty Spice, Scary Spice, Posh Spice, and Ginger Spice. You have five seconds to guess. All right, lock in your answers. Lock in your answers. My favorite Spice Girl is Posh Spice Victoria Beckham. Yeah, she's my favorite Spice Girl. I love, I love her so much. Um, 
Oh my God. What is this thing called? I've had this before. It's like a white dot, right? And then you bite it. I, I, I think it started because I bit my tongue. I get excited when I eat, bitch, okay? So I bite a little too soon. I don't know, girl. Anyways, listen, I spent $100 yesterday at the uh, Japanese um, uh, uh, Japanese store, Little Tokyo. So I wanted to include this video with a little bit of a vlog. So check this out, best friend. Enjoy what I bought at the Japanese uh, uh, food hall. I love you guys so much. Let me know what you guys think of Hailey Bieber. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye. I spent a hundred dollars in Little Tokyo. Let's see what I got. It's giving impulsive and frantic, but let's let's see what I got. So hubby and I went to Japan last year and it changed our lives. And now we are obsessed with everything Japanese. So let's just start with this bag right here. <coughs> so this is a lychee uh, drink, um, delicious. 10 out of 10, okay? Just, okay. These right here, they are, it's bread, cheese, mayo, and, and corn. Bread, cheese, mayo, and corn. Now, I'm just gonna have a bite just so you guys can see, but I am so full because we just had lunch. But you know, cheers. It's just a fluffy bread with cheese, corn, and mayo. Hello? Mmm. Mm. You know what it is? The bread. Mm. Ooh, best friend. Then we got these strawberry shortcakes. Ooh, girl. <laughs> Where's my lactate? 10 out of 10. These are pizza bio bun. I think that's how you say it. They are so delicious. I just had one in the car. I can't possibly eat another one, but I'll just bite it. It is pizza filling with corn. It's like an elevated pizza pizza bite, pe bagel pizza. It's delicious, 10 out of 10. Ooh, best friend, then we got these pizza chips. Listen, I remember buying these in, in 7-Eleven and girl, I'm just gonna show you how they look. Well, it's literally a chip, but it tastes just like a pizza. Mm. These white grape juices are delicious. I mean, girl, mm. And they have like jelly inside, girl. <laughs> 10 out of 10, bitch. Ooh, best friend, these are strawberry um, cream filled sandwiches. Now I can't try them now because these are my husband's and if I open them, girl, it's not gonna be pretty for me. But they are swaffed. They are delicious, girl. Mm, they make love to your mouth, bitch, okay. Hands down, the best mayo is the Japanese mayo. And we got this new uh, sauce that we just tried called yakisoba sauce and it's amazing for stir fried noodles it's like sweet oh girl it mm, 10 out of 10 bitch if you could go amazon it buy it girl i promise you you'll love it oh best friend then we got these rice balls listen this is all i ate in japan it is seaweed and inside is rice with tuna and mayo girl oh <laughs> and uh, yeah. let me know if you want me to open one and try it for you, okay? It, this best friend, it is stir fried noodle filled in a bun. Yes, bitch, in a bun. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm gonna try this for you right now because I have not had this since Japan. And I got these in um, in 7-Eleven. They look like this best friend. It's literally noodles. And I don't know what else it has, but let's just try it, okay? Cheers. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Girl, you cannot go wrong with bread and, and noodles, okay? And lastly, best friend, my husband got these leeches, um, leeche gummy candy. And that was our haul. Let me know if you guys want me to try the 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 cake. The rice balls. What do, you, what do you want me to try? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want more try hauls, let a bitch know. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to hit that follow for more tea.